we celebrate the 24th week in ordinary time. Ordinary time is green because we are growing in our understanding of Jesus and his teachings. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told the people this story. Once a man had two sons. The younger son said to his father, Give me my share of the property. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up everything he owned and left for a foreign country, where he wasted all of his money in wild living. He spent everything, when a bad famine spread throughout the whole land, and soon he had nothing to eat. He went to a work for a man in that country, and the man sent him out to take care of the pigs. He would have been glad to eat what the pigs were eating, but no one gave him a thing. Finally, he came to his senses and said, My father's workers have plenty to eat, and here I am starving to death. I will leave and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. Treat me like one of your workers. The younger son got up and started back to his father. But when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt sorry for him. He ran to his son and hugged and kissed him. The son said, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. But his father said to the servants, Hurry and bring the best clothes and put them on him. Give him a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Get the best calf and prepare it so we can eat and celebrate. This son of mine was dead, but now he has come back to life. He was lost and now has been found. And they began to celebrate. The older son had been out in the field, but when he came near the house, he heard the music and dancing. So he called one of the servants over and said, what's going on here? The servant answered, your brother has come home safe and sound and your father ordered us to kill the best calf. The older brother got so mad that he would not even go into the house. His father came out and begged him to go in. But he said to his father, For years I have worked for you like a slave and have always obeyed you. But you have never given me a little goat so that I could have a dinner for my friends. This other son of yours wasted your money on bad women and now he has come home and you ordered the best calf to be killed for a feast. His father replied, My son, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But we should be glad and celebrate. Your brother was dead? But now he is alive. He was lost and now has been found. The Gospel of the Lord. This week's Gospel is one of the most beautiful stories of God's love for us. You may remember it since we heard it in the fourth week of Lent, the week we celebrate God's love. This week's Gospel is often called the story of the prodigal son. What does prodigal mean? It's someone who spends foolishly and recklessly. But is he the only one who is prodigal in this story? Let's see. Jesus tells the story of a man with two sons. One day, the younger one asked his father to give him half of his money. Can you imagine that? Asking your parents to just give you half of what they had? Of course, it assumed that when the father died, he would give half of what he had to each son. But asking for it while his father was still alive was almost like saying he wished he were dead. The son took the money left and wasted it. He had nothing left, so he had to take whatever work he could get. He was supposed to take care of the pigs, but even the pigs had more food than he did. He realized he would have a better life going back to his father to be one of his servants. He knew he would have to have a big apology. So he started on his way, and while he was still far away, his father saw him and came running and hugged and kissed him. His father had missed him so much, and he was so happy to see him that he immediately forgave his son for leaving and wasting his money. 
He asked his servants to bring him nice clothes and a ring and sandals and to prepare a feast. Can you imagine how the sun felt? It must have been surprising. Can you imagine how the father felt? This is an example of true love, where even the worst of mistakes are forgiven. This story reminds us of God and how he forgives us, and how God is so happy to be with us that he doesn't care the mistakes we have made. And God surprises us with his goodness. And not only that, God wants us to be restored to being his children, like the father who wanted his son to have the clothes and shoes and ring that he would as his son. But something happened. The older son, who hadn't made the mistakes that the younger one did, heard the music and saw the party and was really mad. He did not want anything to do with the party. And he was mad at his father that he'd worked so hard for him all the years and never got a party. But the father told him he would always be with him, but that they should celebrate that his brother was back. Have you ever been in that situation where it's hard for you to be happy for someone because you can't forgive something they've done? Sometimes it's hard not to be jealous when others are being celebrated if we think we should be celebrated too. But the father, like God, saw it differently. His older son already had his reward being with him. And that's like us too. We want to live our lives with God, and that's already a reward to be with God every day. And when someone wants to also live with God, we should celebrate. So do you remember prodigal? It means somebody who spends foolishly. So who in the story was prodigal? The younger son, for sure. He spent his father's money. But the father also spent foolishly too. He spent his love on his son who had been mean to him. God, too, spends his love on us even when we don't return it. And the older son, he spent recklessly, too. He threw away his good feelings of being with his father and let jealousy take over. Where have you seen the younger son in your life? Maybe something you've done? Maybe something you've seen others do? Where have you seen the father? Have you seen God welcoming you back? And where have you seen the older son? Have you ever been like the older son? 